Honest, J. Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Flying with the Foam on HJN. And I gotta say that today is gonna be a bit different from most of the other reviews I've already talked about here, in accordance with Nerve, in accordance with everything else I've already mentioned. But here at Flying with the Foam, let me introduce another newer lineup here, the Modulus series. This is, in fact, Kind of a bizarre way to bring the Modulus lineup here on HJN, but I guess the main reason for that is because, well, this is mainly just a barrel attachment. And I'm saying this because, well, look, that's basically what it's like on the back end. And there's also no trigger. Well, that's simply be because if I bring in the Zulu Cavalier, which I just talked about, then, well... See what I mean here? It's kind of more like a master key sort of thing. Basically, an attachment that usually can go onto the bottom of a common firearm, and it acts like a secondary weapon related to an actual shotgun with real shells put into it. But this is a more different concept on that. Because... While this may not take slugs or actual shotgun shells, this does in fact contain mega darts. Yep, these are the same kind of mega darts that I've already talked about in some blasters that I've already talked about here in Flying with the Foam. But this in particular is just simply put a master key because, well, while it may not operate similarly like one, it sure does seem like one because it has four barrels arranged in a square sort of shape. And of course it has itself a pump grip on the bottom that you pull out. And this one basically just generates air because simply put, it basically allows darts to fly. The harder you pull back on it, the farther they could fly. So let's just go with the other two here. And there you go, pretty much. This seems to act a lot like some blasters out there. There were, in fact, some missile launcher-based blasters out there, like the Demolisher, the Thunder Blast, and the Pulverizer, which, of course, happen to have those as just an attachment. And the Thunder Blast is basically just its own standalone missile launcher-type blaster. And the Demolisher and Pulverizer are basically the same thing, sort of design here. They just happen to have a missile launcher on the bottom of the blaster, in the front. They have a missile launcher down there, but this is basically something that I call the rundown. And what this is, is basically a front end attachment to the Modulus Novatron. And that, of course, is basically something that's gonna be a little while from now, but I gotta say that the rundown seems to operate pretty good on its own, but Mine in particular does seem to have a couple flaws into it because you probably saw at one point where it shot two darts at once instead of just one at a time, like it normally would. That's probably one thing right there. It also can be a little difficult to try to find out how to hold it comfortably. Of course, to hold it like this with one hand is actually just fine, but with the other, you can't really seem to figure out how well to grip onto it. So to use this as a standalone blaster, pretty much, if that's what you choose, it's probably not a personal recommendation of mine because it could be a little difficult to try and find out how to hold this comfortably with, well, my right hand, for instance. Of course, since I'm ambidextrous, I could try this side, but of course, the same problem underlies with my left hand over here as well. So, of course, that's mainly the reason why I just put it onto a blaster like this. A blaster in particular that happens to have a barrel adapter like this. And the Zulu Cavalier actually does seem to have both a stock adapter and a barrel adapter. Not really much like any of the other Alpha Trooper blasters that I've seen, but anyways, you can probably tell that this is probably the most comfortable way to hold on to it. You have one hand holding on to the grip of a main blaster, 
and the other hand holding onto the pump grip on the bottom of the rundown itself. And because this is meant to be an attachment anyways, I find this to be the best configuration possible. And probably for the best experience that you might have. You could certainly achieve optimal results with this in mind. But to use this as a standalone, if you're planning on having a Nerf War at some point, then you might learn a little bit something by watching this video first. So, that's pretty much what that is, and the rundown, I'd say, is pretty decent, but I probably wouldn't recommend it using it by itself. So, that's pretty much that. Zulu Cavalier goes back down, and that's pretty much that for right now. However, I have yet to talk about the main core blaster, known as the Novatron, which the rundown just so happens to be a front-end attachment for, but I also got to talk about its other attachment as well. You'll probably know what it is sooner or later. But I still do have a lot of other blasters as a whole to talk about as well, not to mention newcomers are going to be coming back left and right. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.